Today, we're gonna turn this to this. Got another chilly one today. Bad part is I'm running out of split firewood. So today we're gonna fix that. Some of you may think, you know, why waste your time and energy heating with wood when you could just go turn on a thermostat? Well, for me, there's a couple different reasons. Number one is the cost, right? This is completely free. Um, if you take a look at various different places, there's always someone offering, come cut this tree down, you take the wood. So um, that's what I do. I have various different places I can go to do that. Number two, it's a great workout. I don't really enjoy, you know, that traditional gym style setting. So any day I spend doing this, whether I'm out cutting down trees, whether I'm splitting wood uh, on that day, you know, I'm good. The other thing, it gives you kind of a, a sense of, uh, of freedom. Freedom! With any sort of utility, you know, you aren't really in control with that. Someone else can turn that off on you. Can't come turn my heat off. So come on outside with me today, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to split wood. Some people might think there's no trick to splitting wood. You just chop at it. Well, let me bring you in close. So if you're looking at a round, there's always going to be natural lines. So if we look real close, there's a little bit of a split right here, right? So if we want to work along that line, that's going to be the easiest way to split. Now, could you just hit it anywhere? Yeah. But when you have a lot of splitting to do, I mean, you can get tired. So use what nature gives you. So when this dried, it checked a little bit and it's already got a crack going. So what I'm gonna wanna do is you work at the sides and then go center. So along that line, you know, we're gonna hit here. And if it doesn't split, then we're gonna work that line over here. And then it doesn't split, then we're gonna come right down the middle, right? And it should pop right along that line that already started. Now, as you can see, that one went on one hit. One of the benefits today is it's really cold. The colder it is, the easier it is to split because all those grains and any moisture left in there freezes. So they just split a lot easier. Why do we want to cut wood? A couple of different reasons. Number one is the size. You're not going to be able to stick one of these giant logs into a wood burner that's inside your house. There are outside burners that you can burn large logs like this, but most insides you need to have it put down. Number two, it dries a lot faster. Now this wood's already dry, but if you cut green wood, which is live, you wanna split this down and it'll dry a lot faster. You need your firewood to be you know, about under 20% moisture. You'll get a lot more heat out of it. It burns cleaner, keeps your chimney cleaner. And the third thing is stacking. It makes it a lot easier to stack. When you leave them round, they roll all over the place. Now there is a little bit of a technique, you know, so you can avoid cutting your toes off. Um, just want to have a nice stance, legs out to the side, not one in front of the other. You split like this, if you want to strike, guess where that axe goes? Right into your foot. So again, nice wide stance, get a good grip on that axe. Beneficial to wear gloves, otherwise those vibrations can really carry up into your hand. What you want to do is touch where you want to hit, right? And then the entire time you're swinging, you look at that spot. Wherever you look, that's where your axe is going to go. So keep your eye exactly where you want to hit. Wide stance, overhead. Split right through the log. Pretend you're splitting right to the bottom of it. It's time for a workout. Here's a great example to show you what to do. Your axe gets stuck. Sometimes you have some real knotty wood. It drives in there and you can't get that out. You'll try to yank it out. What you want to do, hold the log, use the leverage of the handle, hit down on the end of that handle and it pops it right out.
See how that crack came in here? So we're just going to work along that crack, side, side, center. elementary school. My dad had this splitting mall. It felt like he was swinging a building. Head on that thing. This big, thick triangle. It was heavy. He sent me out. That would be my chore for the day. Go split you know, six logs. Go split ten logs. It might take me 15-20 minutes back then. Um, as you can see, it's gotten a lot better. Tools of the trade have gotten a lot better as well. I'll bring you in and show you some of the features of this. It's crazy what technology can do to a simple tool. This is the Fisker Splitting X with 36 inch handle. I'm 6'5", have orangutan arms, so I need something with a really long handle. They make a couple different sizes of these. I have a shorter one that my son uses, and I use that when I'm splitting down kindling. You can see that in the, my video I made about starting a fire. So go ahead and check that out. But if you look at this, it's almost a hybrid of an ax and a splitting mole. It's got this real wide wedge, but tapers down to a real fine point. Now this is pretty dull right now, a few different chips out of it. We'll sharpen this up here one of these days. You can check back for a video on that. It has a fiberglass handle on there, really strong. I've been using this ax. This is my fourth season with this one. Now you can get the different axes. A lot of people are purist. They want that old, you know, hickory handle on, on it, which there is a place for that. Nice thing with an ax with a hickory handle. If it breaks, you can replace it. But this company, they guarantee theirs. If you break it, wherever you bought it, take it back. They hand you a new one. It's never happened to me yet. Hopefully it doesn't. But this, compared to the old monster I had to use that my dad had me use when I was a kid, this is so much easier, so much lighter. I, mean, I can swing this thing for a couple hours if I have to. Here's another good example of using the wood's natural drying process to help you split it. As you can see here, this one is split right here. So if I hit that right on that line, and again, I just need to stare right at that mark and I'll hit it right on the money. This thing will probably pop in one, maybe two hits. If it doesn't go after I split there, I'll hit it right here and it should go. Right there, we're gonna hit it right here. Missed a little bit. Well, here's the last one. Let's get this finished up. Let me know in the comments section, how much does it cost you a month right now to heat your house? And how much is your monthly gym membership? This is at least a month worth of free heat for me. Plus, I don't need to go to a gym. I hope you had a good time hanging out today and picked up some good tips. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can keep tabs on when my next video comes out.